When Mr. Tilly was living in Alaska, where the sun went down really fast, he always wanted to play baseball with his dad. One day, they were playing baseball, and Mr. Tilly hit the ball so hard that it disappeared in the night sky. Mr. Tilly had a long way to go, but with Mr. Tilly's great gymnastic and yoga skills, he could finally find this baseball. Just then, he looked at the night sky. He was curious why all planets were round. He wondered to himself, why not cones or cubes? This is why Mr. Tilly decided to become a science teacher. Mr. Tilly first had to learn about nebula. What is nebula? Nebula is concentrated area of gases and cosmic dust in outer space. When enough of these gases and dust are gathered up together in space, it establishes a gravitational field and creates nebula, which is the start of star formation. Then, nebula's gravitational field will start rotating. As the matter gets closer to the center of nebula, it will make the matter more easier to rotate with nebula. For example, when Mr. Tilly spins on ice, he spins faster and faster as he brings his arm towards his body. The spinning of nebula would be happening until the gases go under nuclear fusion and a star is born. Now, a new star is formed. After a new star is formed, there are now two gravitational forces or fields, which are the nebula and the newly formed star, and they bunch the remaining gases and dust which makes a new planet. When a new planet is formed, it carries out angular momentum and it rotates. Furthermore, its gravitational field pulls the matter towards the center of the planet's mass. This explains why planets can have angled edges or vertexes. Every planet has their own rotation and gravitational influence of its star. It's not the magic or god that makes planets round. It's the gravitational field and angular rotations that make planets round. Now, since Mr. Tilly solved his life-lasting question, he is now finding for a new question to investigate.